Okay, so it's finished downloading, and now I'm going to open my WinZip to extract the files. The file you want to extract is the... Just extract everything. And I'm going to just extract it to my desktop. And I think that's done. Okay, so you're gonna open the folder that it that it extracted, and there's gonna be a new one called RPF Sunk. So you open that. It's gonna open another WinZip, and there's gonna be a file called RPF Sunk .gba. That's the one that has the GBA file. So you extract it to your desktop again. And now you're going to have a little icon that says RPF Sunny GBA. This you can rename it to whatever you want it to appear on, on a GBA emulator screen. Like I'm just going to name it Sonic Advance 2. But you have to put .gba at, at, at the end if you want to rename it. So once you do that, wait a second. Okay, so once you do that, you, you should have these two files right here: Sonic Advance 2 and the GBA files. After you after you do that. Open up your Qt FTP Pro and connect to your iPod. It's taking a while. Oh, what? Didn't let me in. Okay, so once you connect your iPod, up, up here in the search button, press slash and then delete. So you can just have slash. Then go to the applications folder. Then find where it says GPS phone for me it's right there. And in here there's gonna be a lot of stuff. And this is where you go to your that you right click and then you go to properties and then you put seven fifty five. Apply, okay. And you get out of there. And then you g press slash again, and then delete. Then you wait. Never mind. You go to the the home page, and then go to media. Go to ROMs. And if you and if you don't have a GBA folder for for your ROMs, just create it. It doesn't matter. And then once you're in here you just drag your sonic advance file into there and then it's gonna it's gonna download so when it finishes I'll, I'll be back okay so mine finished and up here the file came on and since I have more than one game in here because I already uploaded one just change everything to 755 and just apply and then okay then just to make sure just go out, get out of there and put the whole GBA ROMs for folder to 755 now you can just exit out out of QFTP Pro and now I have to go back to your iPod and just restart it Uh, 
Okay. If if you guys like have trouble with anything, just email me at ipodtouch17 at gmail dot com. I'll be posting it once again, and I'll be posting the two links for the ROMs and the GBA BIOS, just to let you know. So you go back into your GBA icon, and now, well, you're gonna see them right there. That's Pokemon Fire Red and Sonic Advance 2. So, and once it's in that, it's gonna start a new game. Press yes. And then there's your GBA. It's pretty simple. And yeah. That's it for my tutorial. And if you guys need any help with anything, again, just email me. And I'll reply probably the same day and yeah later